Hi everyone, Christopher here from Finco with another video from the performance series. Today we are going to discuss the critical path CSS subject. Browsers usually load the content of the web page from top to bottom. So if you check the source code of the HTML, you're going to see that there is a head tag and then there is a body tag. In the head tag, you add all sorts of assets and resources such as JavaScript files, CSS files, you link to the CSS files, or maybe you add inline styling. Now, the, our theme just generates whatever uh, option that you use or the elements that you use, it generates some CSS code that are added inline into the web page. Now, the problem that uh, is happening is that because the browser loads everything from the top to bottom, whatever CSS or JavaScript file that comes to the path from top of the uh, HTML source code will be loaded, then the uh, HTML will be rendered. So it takes time to load a CSS file and it uh, slows down the uh, rendering of the website itself. So to be able to uh, mitigate that and avoid that, we need to defer the CSS files and all the styling and load the styling at the end of the HTML file. That way, uh, we just clear up the path for the browser to load the structure and the HTML code much faster and uh, creates the illusion that the website already loads and then it comes to uh, the time to load the CSS at the end of the uh, source file and then every part of the HTML code just fits uh, together and the styling shows. Now, uh, the first thing first that you see on a web page is the top of the website. Uh, it is called the above the fold. A uh, section of the website that is visible uh, at the loading when the website is loaded and you did not yet scroll down. So, uh, for example, uh, in this um, web page that you see, the first part, this uh, purple part, is the section that is called above the fold. And uh, I just use the design cloud uh, features and content to add a pretty long page. So if I scroll down, you're going to see that there are many, many sections going on with uh, different features and different elements. But the main section that actually loads and important at the first uh, loading and rendering of the website is this first section. So whatever I do and if I defer the CSS and make it go uh, to the end of uh, the uh, end of the page, I need to make sure that the first section loads properly. If not, uh, it will be uh, showing some uh, inconsistencies. So let's uh, check uh, the way that I told you and see how it works. I just went back to the admin section. I already uh, installed the auto optimize plugin. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with this plugin, you can check the other performance videos that I've uh, showed how to uh, enable the uh, caching and all sorts of minifying uh, assets using this plugin. Now, uh, in the uh, previous video, I've just uh, set the normal uh, and default options for CSS and JavaScript, but there is a, an additional option called inline and defer CSS, which is unchecked by default. So if I check this option, the auto-optimize plugin is going to uh, force the CSS files 
and all the styling of the website go uh, at the end of the website and load uh, just after the HTML code. So I just check the option and save and empty the auto-optimized cache. Now let's load. Uh, I also just enabled the uh, Google Chrome developer toolbar by just right clicking on the uh, web page and clicking the inspect option. Then I just enabled the uh, toggle device toolbar which uh, gives me some options for the responsive view. I've set uh, the uh, view to be a desktop one and now it gives me an option to be able to um, just uh, reduce the uh, amount of the, the speed of the uh, internet by just making it uh, as a mid-tier mobile or even low-end mobile. This, this will force the website to load uh, more slowly so you can then uh, be able to check and see what happens when you uh, just move all the CSS code into the end of the website. Whenever the developer toolbar is opened, if I right click on the reload button at the uh, top left section of the browser, uh, it will give me an uh, additional option called empty cache and hard reload. I use that. So uh, as you saw at the very beginning of the page when it was loading, because there was no CSS, it was kind of uh, just a skeleton of the HTML with no styling and it showed very uh, just raw. So let's do it again and you can see. Here it is. So uh, it is a bad uh, effect. And uh, actually, this is a side effect uh, when you just move all the CSS of the website to the end and load the CSS after the HTML code. Now, how uh, you would just mitigate this problem uh, is a feature called uh, critical path CSS. The way it works is that uh, there are some uh, websites that you can use to just detect the above the fold portion of the website and then check the CSS of the website and just extract the only parts that are you know, related to the top section, to the above the fold section. And then uh, you can load that portion at the beginning of the website, uh, uh, HTML code when it loads, and the rest at the end. That way, uh, as soon as the page loads, it will not have uh, that uh, ugly loading problem and it will load the top of the page correctly and then uh, it will uh, just load the rest of the page. So uh, at the moment, uh, the problem is that there is this ugly uh, loading case. Now here in the options of the uh, auto-optimized plugin, uh, whenever I just enable the inline and defer CSS, there is a portion uh, that I can use. There is an option which I can add that critical part CSS, critical path CSS. Now uh, there are different online websites that you can use to generate the uh, CSS code for that critical path. I happen to be using this website here which uh, we will add uh, the URL into the comment section but if you just google critical path CSS generator uh, you will come up with some sort of online uh, generator that you can use. The way that it works is that it gets the uh, URL of the website, so it is important that uh, you should 
have the website on a server so you cannot uh, just uh, use the feature when you are developing locally so for me it's an online website I just copy copy the URL and paste it here then I need to add the full CSS of the website how I find the CSS of the website is easy I will just use the Google developer toolbar and go to sources tab WP content and as I use the auto optimize plugin the cache auto optimize is the CSS file which I'm gonna use so I opened up the CSS file here and the thing to do is just uh, select all the CSS code by uh, hitting the command A in Mac or control A on Windows and then copy it by uh, command C or control C then I'm gonna paste the code here okay then I'm gonna click the create critical path CSS button and it will ge generate for me the portion that is needed for uh, loading uh, at the top of the page and for the above the fold section so uh, the main uh, CSS had uh, 44,000 uh, characters but the critical path CSS has only 8,000 so this is much uh, smaller piece of code that will be loaded at the top of the page I'm gonna copy that too and get back to auto optimize and paste it in the proper place here so let's save the changes and empty cache to be sure let's delete cache here too okay now let's reload the page again using the empty cache feature of the browser Let's do it again. So the cool part is that uh, that ugly loading uh, just side effect went away and it loads the top section uh, normally without any flickering. And this is how you can just defer all the CSS code at the end of the page and uh, avoid the ugly side effects flickering feature so uh, that is how you would use the uh, critical path CSS uh, feature there are some uh, paid plugins that you can use that are going to uh, do the feature for you automatically and uh, it's your preference to use the paid plugin or use this system it is uh, kind of advanced uh, feature here and it is not mandatory to uh, just force all the CSS at the end uh, if you want to be a super picky and you want a super fast website this is how you would do the uh, differing CSS and setting the critical path uh, CSS feature thank you everyone and talk to you soon